Hey, I'm Alex and this is Finally Functional. If you're new here, I'm making VR shoes. Shoes that you'd wear that allow you to use your legs while playing VR games. I've already uploaded a couple of demos where I'm playing No Man's Sky and I'm using a support rig that I haven't explained yet and I'm going to explain that. But first, I made two other support rigs before I made that one. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the first one I made. In the next video, I'm gonna go over the second. Then I'll finally get to the support rig I used in those demos. This is what I call the duck and weave support rig. It's simple, consisting of a rod that extends down from the ceiling, a swivel on the bottom of the rod, and a safety belt, and then the coupling between the swivel and the belt. For the swivel, I 3D printed a few parts, the black parts here. They just make it so that the T-joint swivels nicely, and the T-joint just swivels around the rod. I experimented with having the support rig at different heights and found that right under my chest at about where the solar plexus is felt the best, but still not great. The belt is almost too large and anywhere I put the belt over my belly, solar plexus, chest, I feel it pushing against me whenever I inhale. To turn, you swivel around the pole, or you can duck and weave underneath it. The advantages of this support rig are that it's simple, doesn't require that many parts, it's cheap to put together. The disadvantages are that you have to rotate around this pole. You can do that duck and weave motion, but it's just a workaround, it's a new behavior you'd have to learn. And another, another disadvantage is that with this being around the belly and up here a bit, anywhere where your torso expands as you breathe, you can't have it too tight, otherwise it's too hard to breathe. And then as you're pushing against the harness, it makes it harder to breathe as well. And then the last thing is I don't like how the belt is coupled to the rest of the support rig. There's a lot of play, as you can see here. And this whole setup, I don't know if it's too safe. These hinges might break if I put all of my body weight on it. And this uh, has bent a little bit because I did a little bit of experimenting with putting my body weight on it. So I would completely redo how the belt is coupled to the rest of the support rig if I decide to keep going with this one. So that issue where I couldn't breathe as well with the strap pushing against me totally took me by surprise. I wonder if that's an issue with other devices like slide mills, like the Catwalk C, where it has a big strap that pushes against your belly, or the Omni One that's coming out where it has this vest that goes over your whole torso. I wonder if, if breathing, because those things are pushing against you, is going to be a problem. Don't know, maybe they solved those. Anyway, thanks for watching. In the next video, I'm gonna go over the next rig I made, which is based off of what I've seen uh, physical therapy rigs do and, and look like. So, see you guys then.